Hey there, folks. Mike here. Hey, recently a friend had posed a question to me. She said, hey, you know what? I love these illustrated characters that come with the Articulate products. However, I've got all of these photo backgrounds that we use at work. Is there a way that we can somehow blend the two? Because it doesn't always look great having an illustrated character against a photo background. So I said, you know what? Let me play with it a little bit. And then I got back to her with my ideas on how you could blend your photo backdrops with the illustrated characters. Let's go take a look. All right, so here are three quick techniques that I shared with my friend that you can utilize to help your background image blend better with these illustrated characters. Now, I'm using PowerPoint here. If you've got Photoshop, you'll probably find that you can get even better results than this. But you know, in a pinch, PowerPoint has a lot of great options, especially if you are in PowerPoint 2010 and later. And that's what I'm going to be demonstrating here. I am in PowerPoint 2010, and in 2010, they introduced these artistic effects. So option number one is to take this background and apply an artistic effect. I like this cutout effect because it drops the number of shades down, and it really starts to give it more of a look like these characters. So you don't have as much detail. And you can right-click Format Picture and go to Artistic Effects, and you can play with the number of shades here, and you can see how it gets altered. So maybe something like this, you can work on the transparency, how you know impactful is that effect. And maybe right from there, maybe that is all you need, just enough to make it look like it could go together. Now, maybe that's not quite what you were hoping for. Maybe you want something a little less um, you know, defined. So what we could do, option number two, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this picture, and now the cool thing about doing this is that when you paste, okay, and you copy and paste a picture that has this artistic effect applied to it, it will paste it in, and you can then go back and apply another artistic effect. So what we're going to do here is we've got this effect, we've got this cutout effect, it's looking kind of animated. Now what we're going to do is we are going to blur that picture. So let's right click and format it again, and let's give it a nice blur effect. Here we're going to increase the blur. And then we're going to grab our character, copy and paste him down here as well. And what this is going to do for us is it's really going to create a nice depth of field type of effect where all of the attention now is on the illustrated character. And in the background, it looks like it's sort of a blurred out bar, which is fine. And we could also do this. We could also increase the size of this character. So now what you've really got is you've got this nice depth of field effect. We're focused on him. Maybe he's a little bit closer to us. And this background is now blurred out. So we animate it or we illustrate it. We blur it out and we leave him in the foreground. Now we've got this nice look. It's blended beautifully. No one's going to really think, gosh, is that an illustrated background? Eh, it doesn't really matter. Our brain's not worried about it. So option number three here. Let's go back here. I'm going to copy this and paste it once again here. And put it on slide number three. And let's go now this time. You'll notice that when we insert a character from Articulate, when we insert one of our illustrated characters, when it comes in, we can apply some picture effects, but not the artistic effects. However, if we copy and then we paste it as an image, now we can go in and we can add an artistic effect to it. So option number three here, what we're going to do is we are going to apply a similar artistic effect both to the character and the background. This is going to trick the brain into thinking they're one and the same in terms of their style. I like this texturizer effect, sort of this canvasy look. So I'm going to add a canvasy texturized effect to the character and do it to the background as well. And it may be hard to see here in the recording, but if we zoom in, you will see that that texture effect tricks the brain into thinking that they are in the same style, the same genre. And now it looks even closer than this one that we did up here. So those are three different effects that you can work with in a pinch to try to get your backgrounds to match up better with your illustrated character. One, use that illustrated uh, cutout or that artistic effect, that cutout effect here. Two, take that and then add a blur effect to it as well and maybe even increase the size of your character to bring them up into the foreground to give a nice depth of field effect. And number three, add a similar effect to both of your objects here. So both to the character, so copy and paste him so you can add an artistic effect and give that same effect to the background here, which I've already illustrated. Now, the brain is tricked into thinking that they come from the same design schema. All right, so there you have it. Three quick ways that you can get your 
photographic backgrounds to marry, to merge, to match up a little bit better with your illustrated characters and either articulate storyline or articulate studio. Take care.